Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about tools that I use in the veg garden. I've had a request uh, from one of my viewers uh, to do a video on tools, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got basically all of my garden tools here. Now I've collected these over a few years, so um, obviously some of them are optional but nice to have. Um, some of them are basically essential. Um, you can start a veg garden with just a fork really so just a garden fork uh, that will allow you to dig over your beds clear any weeds uh, you can even use it as a rake and to break up the clumps in your soil uh, you can use it just to dig out your weeds and all sorts so number one tool that i would say would be the gardening fork um, number two um, although this can be any sort of trowel, this is a hori hori, which is a Japanese gardening trowel. Uh, but obviously, just a normal gardening trowel, you can do the same job. So you can use that just to plant your seedlings or seeds, and you can weed with it. You can basically do everything. You can chop the grass down the edges. Um, so that's another quite essential tool is a trowel. And a spade. So, spades, you can do your edges of your beds. You can use it to cut the surface, the topsoil off, the turf. Um, it's not too good for weeding because it just chops up all the roots. Uh, unless you've got a bit a tree nearby and you just want to cut through a root, then the spade's handy. Um, also, you'll cut worms and stuff in half, so dig them with a spade in the visual garden. Um, I would much prefer to use the fork. Uh, another one I use quite a lot is this handheld rotavator um, or gardening claw they sometimes call them. So this you can really get in there. Uh, it's ideal if your ground's already dug over and you just want to remove some weeds and give it a quick dig over with this. breaks up the clumps and stuff so that's handy but uh, I didn't have one of them for a good few years uh, but it is a handy tool and um, obviously second is for pruning um, and snips also for pruning it's basically a little tiny pair of secateurs but you can get by without these um, to begin with, I just used to use a pair of normal kitchen scissors, or at most plants you can just break through it with your thumbnail. So, again, handy but not essential. Uh, I've got string and bamboo poles. Uh, if I was going to go for two lengths, it would be the four foot ones and the six foot ones. Six foot ones are good for most tomatoes and stuff. Uh, you can put three together in the teepee shape if you want extra strength. And the four foot ones you can use for most other things, cucumbers and stuff that stay quite short. Uh, or you can put them in a teepee design again, like I said. And also you can also cut them in half to put in pots just to hold plants up. And string, obviously. This is twine. Uh, I like to use twine because it's biodegradable. So at the end of the season, you can go around and just snip it. Uh, it doesn't matter if it goes on the floor because there's no plastic in it. Uh, I also have got some plastic um, string. Uh, it's a lot stronger than the twine, so sometimes it is useful. Uh, but when I do use that, I always try to make sure I pick up the bits. Uh, what else have I got? Rakes. A couple of different types of rakes. Uh, this one's for raking up grass and stuff, so it's a like a flexible rake. And this is like a stiff rake. This is for raking soil and breaking up clumps. So handy to have again, but not essential. You can get by without them. And I've also got a Dutch hoe. Uh, I only actually got a hoe last year. I managed to survive all that time without one, uh, but they are handy. You can 
So if you've got a really bad weedy bit, you can go around and scrape the surface off, get all the weeds, just chop them. Um, you won't get the roots, obviously, but if you do that enough times, then they won't grow back. You can just go around every now and then, chop the chop the tops off, keep doing that, and that'll kill the weeds. Uh, it's also, they are good for chopping through things, I've found. I don't always use the tools as they're intended, so if I've got like a really rooty bit, I can chop it, or you can chop brambles with it, like stinging nails and stuff. Uh, you can actually use them to edge your bed as well by going along chopping through the grass. So, another handy tool. And the handheld fork. Uh, it's much the same as the big fork, but a little handheld version. So, if you wanted to plant something, you could use that, or you could use your trowel. Um, sometimes if you've got hard clay soil, you can break it up better with the fork. So, you can also use the fork to bash any big lumps of clay up. Uh, again, not essential. And I've also got an edger. This is just for going around the edges. Uh, just stopping the grass coming into the bed. So I'll do that two or three times a year probably. Uh, whenever I feel the need. Uh, also what I tend to do a lot of the time is just go around and yank it off. Rather than use a tool. But it's handy to have a tool. And shears, again, if you've got grass around your veg garden, um, shears, if you haven't got a strimmer, or a, the Americans call them, what do they call them, string trimmer, trimmer. Uh, you know, your strimmers with the cables, you've got petrol ones, you've got electric ones. Um, if you haven't got one of them, a pair of shears will do the same job. Uh, obviously, I'm much slower. So you can just go around, you can cut your hedges, you can cut your grass coming in. Uh, you can use them to edge while going around and cutting the grass like that along the edge. Um, you can actually use them to prune as well, but uh, it depends if you had a really vigorous plant. You can just chop it over these rather than the cicadas. Um, obviously, last but not least is watering. So obviously a watering can uh, on, is not essential because you can just use a bottle, a bucket, anything that can hold water. Uh, but it's nice to have a watering can. And I've got a sprayer as well. They're also nice to have, uh, but not essential. I use these for watering the seedlings in the greenhouse. Uh, it just allows you to get a more controlled jet of water onto the soil. So. As far as actual gardening tools, that's about that's about it really. Obviously, I've got more tools lying around, but uh, they're the ones I use regularly. So I say every single year, like multiple times, I use them. And the number one out of all of these would be the gardening fork. Um, I'm fairly confident if you had no other tools, if you just got one of these, you could start a veg garden. So, um, anyway, I hope that hope that was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, that would be also fantastic. Uh, any comments, questions down below? Any tools you can think of which would be really handy which you haven't seen me mention? Uh, obviously, leave a comment to let other people know. And don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.